how do I most effectively use my classroom space when I'm trying to affect this group work? Well, it really depends on your particular classroom, but I can speak from experience in both a small classroom that was really, really well lent to this sort of activity, and a very large auditorium that was not well lent to it. But we may do anyway. In the small classroom, it's fairly obvious. Get students to kind of separate from each other into these groups, as groups, they separate groups from each other, so that I can get to each of them, I can walk around and among and between them most effectively. But, if I'm in a large classroom, an auditorium, where students are all packed in, worst case scenario, which is pretty much as I had it, all of the students are, are filling all of the seats in the room, and so groups basically just turn to each other, perhaps back or down a row, that's a group, and then the next group is sitting directly behind my left or right shoulder. Well, that's the best we can do very well. But really, think more divergently than that. If you have a typical auditorium room, there probably aren't students filling the wings and standing. There probably aren't students sitting on the stairs. There probably aren't students up in this front of the room, this, this traditional lecture space. I'm not lecturing anymore. There's no need for that room to be kept sacred. And so, asking students uh, to come out of one of the rows in the middle of the room, for example, and fill in that space in the front, or fill in the space in the wings, or sit at tables that may be set up, gives two opportunities here. One is, I can now move in the middle of the room there, and I can become more in contact with more groups, more of the time. Also, students are more separated from each other, and they have a greater opportunity to speak without having to overhear other thoughts. They can develop their own thoughts as a group. It's less distracting as a, as a group work environment. That's two ways to do it. Again, your classroom may be between one of these two poles, but just think creatively about it. How can you get students in groups that are going to be most effective, and you can communicate with most effectively?